Hey everybody, welcome back, Uncle Drew's Kitchen. I've got something special for you. It's one of my go-to hacks. What I'm making for you today is egg muffins. Uh, you'll see me making a variety today. I've got some uh, fresh mushrooms. I've got peppers, green, red, and I'll call it orange. I've got some red onion, some yellow onion. I've got this guy for a little bit of kick, a nice jalapeno. I've got some more green onion over here. I do have some spicy sausage, some bacon, of course, fresh eggs. I do have egg whites to add volume. I've got two types of cheddar cheese down there. And I've got some uh, chili flakes for some extra kick. So let's get after it and have some fun here. Boom. Okay, we're gonna start by chopping all of our vegetables. We're gonna start here with our green onions and then move on to our red onions. Let's make sure we dice everything quite finely because we're putting them into small muffin tins. Okay, now we're moving on to our peppers. We've got red, orange, and green peppers. Let's make sure we also dice these quite finely. Now, jalapeno is optional. It depends on how spicy you want your muffins. I find mushrooms are a great addition, especially with the cheese, sausage, and bacon combination. Next, let's make sure we really chop our parsley finely. I am grating my garlic here to avoid any large chunks inside the muffins. A little bit more work required here to remove the casing of the sausage, but this works out better, especially for cooking. They won't take as long to cook. We're going to put a piece of plastic over top of the sausage. Use our rolling pin to roll these out flat. Um, we'll be able to cut them into pieces, cook them a little bit quicker with our bacon, and then we're going to be able to dice these up later on. For this combination, I'm grating two different types of cheddar cheese. Okay, next step, let's get cracking four whole eggs. Let's whisk them up nicely. Following that, we're gonna add three cups of pure egg whites. This will add some volume and get us to our 12 muffins that we're looking for. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our minced garlic. I'm seasoning today with oregano and basil. I haven't added in any pepper because I have my red chili flakes and I also have my jalapenos in there. As best you can, use a paper towel to remove the grease from your sausage and bacon. Pat it dry, make sure you do both sides and then wipe it down if necessary as well. Let's be sure to dice up our sausage and bacon into small pieces. So you'll see all of our prep work is done. I used four whole eggs and three cups of liquid egg whites to give me my mixture over here. The other ingredients I've got ready, I've already got some cooked hot sausage. I've diced that up. I've also got a little bit of bacon cooked and diced up. I've got mushrooms. I have finely chopped parsley, some red chili flakes. I've got a mixture of cheddar cheese already shredded. And a little tip for you, before you shred your cheese, Put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes. It'll, it'll firm it up a little bit, make it a lot easier for you to shred going forward, okay? In this mixture over here, what I have diced, peppers. I've got green, some orange, some red. I've got onion. I've got a few diced mushrooms in there as well, as well as some uh, jalapeno peppers for a little extra pop. So the beauty about this is that you can go ahead and design these any way you choose. If you've got family members that don't like bacon, that don't like sausage, do a few without those. Uh, if you've got the meat eater around you and you only want meat, do some meat, cheese, and mushrooms. You want the vegetable ones, do a mixture of vegetables in there with a little bit of cheese. It, as I say, it's your kitchen. You can make them whatever way you choose and do a great variety out here. I've got a dozen today. I'm gonna make another batch in a few days different variety but for today this is what we've got so let's get to it let's make our creations now we're going to go ahead and fill up our muffin trays make sure you leave some room in each individual cup to be able to add your vegetables your meats your cheeses etc we don't want to fill them to the top right away so they don't overflow 
This is the fun part. You get to customize your individual egg muffins. If you want to have some that are filled with meat and cheese only, some that are filled with vegetables only, some that are a combination, really customize them. That way you can have something different every time you reach for them or you can satisfy everybody's individual tastes. I really like to spend a lot of time for my attention to detail here, especially with the chili flakes. I want to make sure I've got some extra zing in each one of my muffin tins. Don't be afraid to load up each muffin tin with cheese. We've shredded and shredded for a reason. Let's use it all. Boom! Okay, so I've got my oven preheated at 350. Yep, 350. Set these in there for 20 minutes. We'll check on them. We should be good to go. Okay, I want to give you a sneak peek as to what our egg muffins are looking like. Oh, check those out. Don't those look just delicious? Oh my goodness. They are rising and exploding. My gosh. Wow. Uncle Drew has created a gem with this one. Mm, I can even smell that cheese. It's all melted in there now. Wow. Oof. Check those out. Those look delicious. We're gonna have to leave them rest okay, for a little so bit. So be very careful taking these out. I've already loosened them around the edges, but I suggest using a big spoon here um, because we certainly don't wanna have just what they would call a muffin top. So if I've loosened them up and I can scoop, we should be able to get out our entire egg and look just like that, okay? So we'll go ahead and set these up. There we go, they're coming out nice and easy because I've loosened them up. Take a look at that guy. Look at that guy, yeah. We'll do first, if you'd like, you can add a little bit of sour cream right on top. And then a little bit of a green onion to finish. And then as we always do in Uncle Drew's Kitchen, we give these guys a taste. This looks like this is a one with uh, mushrooms, of course cheese, and I believe this has sausage and bacon. I have a feeling these are gonna be delicious. Mm. Yep, delicious. And don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Boom. Oh yeah. Those are so good. These are delicious. I want to come up with a name for these. These are just fantastic. I, I really believe you have to make these. If you love eggs and you love vegetables, these are great on the go. I'm going to be eating another one, probably on camera, because I can't keep my hands off these. As I was making them, I was really, really hungry. And that first one really hit the spot. Um, make them, put them in the freezer if you need to. These are really good. You're going to see a lot of egg recipes on my channel. Uh, a lot of different muffin recipes just like this because they're so good. Uh, I'm going to try and make shorter ones for you. Different types of varieties out here. They're fantastic. So I took some sour cream. I added it on top. I've got some more chopped green onions. I've got some more chopped parsley, which I'm going to add on. And I like them with a little bit of kick. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose which guy I want. I think I want this guy over here. I'm going to add a little sour cream. I mean, this is just... This is the way to do it. You wanna have a quick meal, and once you've done your prep work during the week, this is it, you've got these set. If you make two dozen of these, they're in your freezer, you're set to go. So I'm gonna go ahead here and add a few more green onions on top. I'm gonna to add a little bit more parsley, and then I want a little bit more kick too, so I've got a few chili flakes. This is so good for you. I hope you enjoy these. Uncle Drew out, boom.